Okay, good morning everyone. I'm Ying Li from Georgia Tech, and this is a joint work with Manuel Hapuri, Jim Ray, and Peter Dollar during my internship at Facebook AI Research. So imagine you place yourself in an alien world, and or if you're at early stages of your visual development. Now look at this image. Can anyone tell what's inside here? So a quick hint: there's something in the middle. But it's kind of hidden. Now you see it as it starts to move. So motion is an incredibly strong cue, such that you may know nothing about the world. But as long as you see the motion, you see this animal. In fact, after you see this motion, you can, and if you look closely to this last frame of the video, you can kind of find the boundary of this animal. So, if you apply the latest optical flow method on the same video, it actually works quite well for picking up the actual boundaries of the object. So, the question we're going to ask here is whether we can learn to detect image edges using the motion signals within videos. Well, our brief answer is yes, we can do that, and I'm going to tell you how we're going to do it. So let's look at a pair of frames within the video. Here we're going to run, we're going to match local regions and build a semi-dense motion field. And we're going to look into the details of this image. If you look at the blue regions over here, these are these are regions where the motion is not smooth. And motion edges happens when the motion field is continue. So these motion edges are actual boundaries of the horse. However, if we look at the well, if we look at the yellow region over here, these are actual image edges, but uh, the motion is smooth. So in brief, motion edges are only a subset of image edges. So how about we learn architecture using these motion edges? To do so, we're going to start with a pair of frames. We're going to compute optical flow out of it, and we're going to find edges on the flow field. But now, if you look at the edge map, it looks quite blurry, and there are many false positive edges. So we're going to further align this motion edge map to local image gradients, and we're going to aggressively threshold the obtain map. So the result is a set of, and we're going to use them as our positive training samples. Going to sample negative side. This is feasible because image edges are spot. Slow is low. So left and our confident motion edges on the in the positive edge samples, but the And our powerful machine learning tool can help us deal with the noise in this training set. Now, let me go through our proposed pipeline for unsupervised edge learning. So we start with the power frames again. Uh, we assume the semi-dense matches are known. We're going to compute flow from the matches, and we're going to find edges from the flow field. Now we're going to feed these training samples into a learning-based edge detector. Once learned, we're going to apply this detector over all the input frames. And finally, we're going to plug in the obtained match map to estimate the flow field. So this final step closes the loop of our, of our iterative process. And we hope that over time, we can get more accurate optical flow and motion edges, and thus a better signal for edge detector. Of course, this cannot be done with only a single pair of frames. So our pipeline have access to massive amount of unlabeled videos, which you can download from the internet. So now let's take a step back and really think about what we're doing here. So we're learning an edge detector from motion edges. Are we really just learning to detect occlusion boundaries? And how does the learn detector generalize to image edges? In addition, is this unsupervised learning of edges useful for other vision tasks, such as recognition? 
So I'm going to present a set of experiments to address these questions. So before I'm going to talk about the results, let's look at the edge detectors we're going to use. So here we use the structure edge from Dollar and Zinnick, which uses a random forest to predict the edge patch. We also consider the holistic edge detector from Shein 2, which uses a fully convolutional neural network to generate the edge map. And by far, the holistic edge detector achieved the best performance on standard benchmarks. And we're going to train both the detectors on a set of videos selected from video segmentation benchmark and YouTube object dataset. And we're going to work the segmentation benchmark using a standard ODS the raw image gradient. Of course, the performance is after the first iteration, our method is being able to structure edges and holistic edges. And first very clear from this plot. So let's zoom in here. The performance improves. Duration and check them in details. We'll look here we're going to have a simple baseline on curve over here. And here's our result videos. If you look at the green curve, it's much more and now here's the same edge detector trend So look, so look how close we are to the blue performance gap is only is only two point what does the our act map looks like? So here's the image. Results from the structure edge with full super far measurable of the same edge detector. Choose edge map from human annotators. If to the result obtained by force ground truth, both of the message. So the same trends also holds for structure. Here's the. the Deep neural network train and here is the same neural network trained using human annotations. Again, the gap is small. In this case, it's only 3.4 percent. So I want to emphasize that we're learning a edge detector using a convolutional neural network trained from scratch using unsupervised video, well, using unlabeled videos. So this can be considered as a a kind of an unsupervised pre-training scheme for convolutional neural networks. So is that an effective scheme? So we're going to test that by transferring the learned representations to other detection tasks. So we're going to train a kind of CNN from scratch using videos. We're going to take the weights of the CNN and fine-tune that on VOC well, on Pascal VOC07 data set using FASA CNN. And here's the results using the seven-layer network structure by Ziller and Fergus. And you can see that our unsupervised pre-training is only working slightly better by 3% over random initialization. So how about we switch to a deeper network? So here is the results using the VGG 16-layer network from Samuel and Zisman. Now our method performs much better, actually 28% better than the random initialization as the network grows deeper. So these results really show that our unsupervised pipeline not only provide a high quality edge detector, but provide a kind of promising method for learning features. So let's let me just recap what we talk about. So we present a pipeline for unsupervised edge learning that start with raw image gradients and quickly converge to a high quality edge detector that is within 3 to 5 percent 
uh, of the state-of-the-art fully supervised method. And uh, if, we, if we really look at the history of batch detection, it sort of shifted from hand-designed methods to a data-driven learning-based paradigm. And our method here is really the first attempt to do a data-driven but unsupervised um, approach for edge detection. So currently, it's only achieving comparable results. But I think this is a very promising direction that we can eventually, or we might eventually outperform kind of fully supervised methods just using our, well, just using a kind of unsupervised paradigm. So, and last, I want to emphasize that this is also a starting point. Our work is also a starting point for unsupervised learning from videos. If we can truly leverage the massive amount of unlabeled video data and learn from the motion channels, we can well, learn many things like correspondences, objects, and etc. So that concludes my talk, and um, thanks for coming, and welcome all the questions.